Hi, I'm Jesse Sharp, an award-winning personal travel consultant and world traveller. I've been helping couples just like you for the last seven years organise their dream holidays. Today, I'll be doing a video based on my top 10 honeymoon destinations. There'll be plenty more content coming your way, so be sure to like, comment and subscribe on the video and follow my Instagram for some more travel inspiration. So without any further ado, here are my top 10 honeymoon destinations. If you are looking for an island retreat, then be sure to consider the Maldives. It is a group of tropical islands located in the Indian Ocean and comprised of 26 stunning atolls and over a thousand coral reefs. Every resort in the Maldives is its own island. You can relax on beautiful tropical beaches, get pampered in world-class spas and enjoy some fresh seafood. For the active, you can scuba dive in rich waters, surf the waves and go whale watching. The price can vary depending on where you stay and when you go. If you are looking for something really special, then stay in an overwater villa with a private pool and travel to the hotel by seaplane transfer, giving you the opportunity to take in the fantastic views of the paradise below. It is a year-round destination, but January to April are the driest months. There are seasonal direct flights and takes 11 and a half hours from the UK. If one destination isn't enough, why not combine the Maldives with another location? Sri Lanka, India and Dubai are the most popular. If you are looking at getting off the beaten track, then be sure to consider Uganda. It's located in the heart of Africa and borders five countries including Kenya, Tanzania and Rwanda. The relatively small country offers you the chance to find your inner adventurer. You can trek through the jungle to find wild mountain gorillas, go extreme white water rafting in the River Nile, visit Lake Bignoni and do a safari in Queen Elizabeth National Park. Doing a private tour is the easiest way of getting around the country and for those whose budgets can't accommodate, a group tour is always an option. From basic to luxury, it truly has it all. It's a year-round destination, but December to February is the peak time to visit. There are no direct flights from the UK, but you can fly directly into neighbouring Rwanda and Kenya, so it could combine one or both of these for an even more fulfilling experience. The flight time to either of those is around eight and a half hours. Alternatively, you could go via Dubai or Doha to mix adventure with the city. If you are looking for culture, wildlife and pristine beaches, then be sure to consider Sri Lanka. Located in the Indian Ocean, its landscape is diverse, offering so much in a relatively small area. You can experience culture in all its glory by visiting the Cultural Triangle in the north, head into the centre for the rolling hills and tea plantations, and go to the south to see the incredible wildlife and beaches Sri Lanka has to offer. It's rare that you can have world-class cultural sites, beaches and safari all driving distance from each other, let alone in the same country. The people in Sri Lanka are warm and welcoming and a private tour is the best way of seeing the country. It's a year-round destination, but December to April are the driest months. I'd recommend spending no less than a week in Sri Lanka, but there's enough to do for at least three. This will allow you to see everything in more detail and make you fall in love with the place even more. You can fly direct from the UK, taking around 11 hours, and can easily mix with the Maldives, giving you the perfect mix of culture and beach. If you're looking at getting off the beaten track and immersing yourself in the extraordinary, then be sure to consider Ecuador. It's a tropical country located in the northwest of South America and borders Colombia and Peru. It has luscious rainforests, beautiful mountains and an energizing culture. It is home to the wondrous Galapagos Islands, which is the birthplace of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution and home to some of the most diverse wildlife in the world. It is truly an adventurous paradise. Enjoy the beauty and serenity of the Amazon rainforests, the sights of the avenue of the volcanoes and the history of the Incas. For the mainland, a private tour is how I'd recommend getting around, and for the Galapagos, the most popular option is to do a liverboard on a boat. You cannot fly direct to Ecuador, but can to neighbouring Peru, so why not add in a few days there and explore the magical Machu Picchu? The flight time to Lima, the capital city of Peru, is 12 and a half hours. Both of these destinations are year-round, but the drier months are June to September. If you're looking for an island getaway, then be sure to consider Mauritius. It's a small island nation located in the Indian Ocean, surrounded by coral and white pristine beaches. The palm-covered beaches are the main draw for Mauritius, offering the opportunity to relax with cocktail in hand and take in the rays of the hot sun. For the adventurous, you can head inland and see waterfalls, volcanoes and do some great hiking. You can take a boat trip out to see dolphins, head inland and visit some sugar plantations and take in some culture at a Hindu temple. 
If you're into your golf, then you can also visit the south of the island, where there's some world-class courses with some unreal scenery. The people are welcoming, and the hotels on offer a second to none. You can dine privately on the beach and go for walks under the stars. There are seasonal direct flights from the UK, which take 12 and a half hours, and June to November is the best time to visit. Mauritius can easily be mixed with Kenya, Tanzania or South Africa if you'd like to add safari to this trip of a lifetime. If you're looking to stay in Europe but still enjoy beautiful scenery, energising culture and clear blue beaches, then be sure to consider Italy. It's a country located in southern Europe, almost totally surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea. This food capital of the world has so much to offer. In the north you can go on a canal cruise in Venice, trek in the stunning Dolomite mountain range, eat traditional food in Bologna and take in the magical views of Cinque Terre. Also in the north you can visit the rolling hills of Tuscany, the historical city of Florence and have some of the best ice cream in the world in San Gimignano. In the centre you have the magical city of Rome and to the south you have the views of the Amalfi Coast. The list truly goes on and on. The history combined with the food and scenery makes Italy a fantastic option for a trip of a lifetime. Renting a car and doing a tour is the best way of getting around and there are daily flights to many cities in Italy making it very easily accessible. The best time to visit is from April to October. If you're looking for adventure, white palm tree covered sandy beaches and some of the best wildlife in the world then be sure to consider Tanzania. It's a magical country located in East Africa, bordering eight countries including Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda and Zambia. Test yourself by climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest mountain. Treat yourself by staying in luxury in the beautiful beaches of Zanzibar and immerse yourself in the spectacular wildlife Africa has to offer. Have the chance to see herds of over a million wildebeest, take a hot air balloon over the plains of the Serengeti and be in company of the mystical lion. An African safari will truly be one of the most memorable things you ever do. You cannot fly direct, so why not mix the destination with Dubai or Abu Dhabi for some luxury before you embark on your adventure? Or even with Kenya, Uganda and Rwanda and see what else East Africa has to offer. A private tour is the best way of getting around, but for those whose budgets can't accommodate, you could also consider a group tour. July to October is the best time to visit this magical place. If you are looking for sun, energy and an island retreat, then be sure to consider the Caribbean. It's an area of 700 islands, islets, reefs and caves, and home to some of the most beautiful beaches, stunning waterfalls and fantastic dive sites. Picking one island in particular to visit would depend on what you're looking to do, what time of year you're going, budget and preference in hotels. You can swim with pigs in the Bahamas, ride horses on the beach in the Cayman Islands and even get married underwater in Grenada. Many islands have festivals, so a great opportunity to truly soak in the culture and atmosphere. You can fly direct to many of the islands and flight times vary depending on what island you go to, but are generally over 8 hours. While there I'd recommend hiring a car for a day and go exploring giving you the chance to venture out and see what the island has to offer. There's more to the Caribbean than just beaches, many islands have rainforests, waterfalls, hikes and activities, as well as some of the best water sports. December to April is the best time to visit, avoiding the hurricane season from July to November. <laughs> If you are looking for adventure, activity, rainforest and an abundance of wildlife, then be sure to consider Costa Rica. It's a very lush country located in Central America, bordering Panama and Nicaragua. It's a world leader in ecotourism and is famous for being able to run the entire country on renewable energy. To the east you have the beautiful Caribbean Sea, bringing its warm currents and pristine beaches. To the west you have the Pacific Ocean, offering stunning landscape with fantastic bird and marine life. Inland, you have volcanoes in Arenal, cloud forests in Monteverde, sloths in Manuel Antonio, and turtles in Tortuguero. A true hub for wildlife. For the active, you can zip line, white water raft, quad bike, and take part in some water sports. To relax, take some time to visit a hot spring, or go to the beach and take in the sun. Whether it's relaxation or adrenaline you're after, Costa Rica is the place for you. You can fly direct from the UK and it takes around 11 hours. December to April is the best time to visit this magical place. If you're wanting to be in awe of one of the most beautiful places on our planet, then be sure to consider Bora Bora. It's part of French Polynesia, which is a collection of archipelagos within a larger archipelago. Consisting of volcanic peaks, long stretches of idyllic beaches and stunning lagoons you'll never want to leave. Bora Bora is the most famous island and is known for having overwater bungalows stand above a beautiful turquoise sea with the backdrop of an ancient volcano. Hire a jet ski, grab your snorkel and go explore this breathtaking part of the world. 
It's not just about the beaches though, there are many jungle treks and water sports available and not forgetting the diving opportunities and diverse marine life. In the evening enjoy a nice pina colada while staring up at the stars and forget all about the worries back at home. Getting there can be a bit complicated though, so why not combine it with a short trip to California or if you'd like to venture even further, combine it with New Zealand. June to August is the best time to visit this paradise, a true holiday of a lifetime. Thank you for watching. If you'd like help from someone with first-hand knowledge, a world-beating NPS customer satisfaction rating of 96% and vast experience booking holidays of a lifetime, then click the link below. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and like my Instagram for more travel inspiration. I'm Jesse Sharp, an award-winning personal travel... Uh, travel? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you'd like help from someone with first-hand knowledge and NPS... You must trip there. You have to walk back to the fucking side. That's it. Cool. Thank you for watching. I didn't start again because he was still talking. Okay, go.